When we went to the um, Asia Cup, uh, I was part of the delegation, heart, uh, head of the delegation. Since the girls are playing for the first time internationally, so medyo, syempre, iba yung platform. And then, they adapted very well. Alam naman ng Pinoy, magaling mag-adapt. So, during that time, um, they tried to learn how to to do their thing na magpo-prosper yung skill nila during the game. So, we were happy with the adjustment. And towards the end, um, a podium finish. So, sa, para sa akin po, proud na proud po ako sa team namin. Kasi, actually, nung, nung una po, ma, mahirap makisama sa ibang team. Kasi nga po, bunot lang din po kami. Tinuruan po kami ng coach namin na maging disiplinado kami at makisama kami ng maayos sa mga ibang team para magsama-sama po kami ng maayos. Um, I think we're competitive. We didn't even expect to place in the Asia Cup. So, it was a good surprise. Before coming in, we thought we could just maybe beat India and maybe Hong Kong. We didn't expect to win against Korea twice. So when the second time we won against Korea, that's when we got bronze. We were super happy. Minsan, medyo, medyo, ano, medyo, medyo, may kaba din. Tulad nun, pag na, nag, nag, nung kalaban po namin ay Japan, medyo kabado po nun. Pero nung, time po na naglaro na po nung first inning, sabi, po na, sabi ko po sa kanila na kaya, po, kaya natin to, manalo man tayo o matalo, basta gawin natin lahat ng makakaya natin, yung best natin. Actually, number one is the confidence of the girls that they know that they belong to the international arena. And then, um, that softball is also one of the teams dito sa Philippines that will go a long way. From the grassroots, to think that these girls only train three months prior to Asia, what more if we really prepared for it? It opened up another door for the younger generation. This is the first time that the girls played for the 15 u in the world, I mean Asian, Asian level. Ito yung first door na nag-open, which will open for doors sa mga younger generation for other Filipino softball players to be with. Na alam natin na, alam natin before in the 80s, isa ang Pilipinas sa na namamayagpag sa buong mundo in terms of softball. So we wanna gain that back. You know what? At the start, nag-budget kami. Oh, bagong jacket, bagong t-shirt, bagong... Gusto namin matching backpacks. Pero nung nalaman namin na yung food, babayaran pala namin, eh mahal yun sa Japan. Tinagal na namin yun. <laughs> wala, na, wala na sa budget, wala na. We'll just use whatever backpacks we have. As of now, it's just the parents who are really supporting the kids. Um, Pasig is trying to help out with their LGU uh, as well as Bulacan and then um, we have, we're trying to have some help from Asafil, syempre limited then and of course you know that four teams will be going for the World Cup so medyo strain ang budget ng Asafil for those four teams na aalis for the World Cup. We're trying to get some sponsorship. Baka meron po siya na gustong tumulong sa amin. Um, it would be a big help for the girls kasi kailangan na kailangan po talaga namin.